The gospel text of today is taken from the gospel of Mark chapter 12 verses 28 to 34. In these verses, there is a man who comes to Jesus with a question. And the question is an important one because it is, which is the first commandment? The man very clearly asks about the first commandment and he asks therefore about one commandment. At the time of Jesus, the people had a number of rules and regulations. There were a total of 648 commandments out of which 365 were positive. That means the things that they had to do and 243 were negative. That means the things which were not to be done. So the one who asks the question possibly is referring to the 648 commands, rules, regulations and obligations and asking Jesus which of these is the first. Jesus does not merely give him an answer but he wants to take the man to a much higher level to his answer when he says that the first commandment is to love God with everything that one is and one has. In other words, the love of God has to be a love that is unconditional, that is without reserve, that is total and complete. And even though Jesus is asked about one commandment and the first commandment, he does not stop there. And this is where he takes the man and each of us to a higher level when he says, and the second is this. One must love one's neighbor as one's self. In other words, Jesus links up the first commandment with another commandment that is like the first, where one loves neighbor as oneself. One cannot love God who one cannot see if one cannot love one's neighbor who we can see. In his first letter, John tells us in chapter 4 verse 20 that anyone who says that they love God but cannot love their brother or sister or neighbor is a liar because he goes on to say how can anyone love God who they cannot see when they cannot love someone who is right in front of them? And so in the gospel text of today, we are asked to ask ourselves this all-important question about the commands we follow in our lives. Is my command loving God alone and not having the ability to love my neighbor or do I love God by loving my neighbor? The answer which Jesus gives is very clear and explicit that one cannot love one God unless one loves one's neighbor. How will I show my love for someone through one tangible action today?